Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Java for Beginners. This is going to be lesson number nine, I believe. And this is going to get into what I refer to as flags, but it's actually known as Boolean switches or Boolean operators. Um, you might notice that uh, word Boolean operators because we have been using them already. We've been using the the less than, the e uh, double equal sign, which is Boolean equals. Uh, we've been using greater than, which is, uh, you know, clearly Boolean greater than. And so just a list of the Boolean things that we know already. We know less than, less than or equal, greater than, greater than or equal, or, um, actually I should have that's supposed to be a comma. So then there's or, which is the two vertical lines, and, which is the two ampersands, and I believe that's all we've covered. Um, I say that because that's pretty much all of them. Um, oh, and not equal to, which is exclamation point equal to. So, okay, that covers what we've covered about Boolean so far. And so basically, if it's one of those things, then, you know, it'll evaluate to true or false. But there's actually a way that we can make our own true or false switches, as they're known. Um, there's actually, later on as we progress further, an actual operator called switch. I refer to these as, as switches or gates or flags or things of that nature. But the way we declare them is we type out the word boolean um, for all my people in C++ you saw me confuse this a hundred times in C++ it's bool in Java it's boolean so if you're one of my students coming over from C++ keep that in mind very similar wording um, and then we just give it a variable name and we'll say um, we're going to use the same program we already had and we'll say uh, is even so what we'll do is we'll see, uh, you know, right here, you know, maybe this uh, is telling us, you know, that the number is even prior to the decimal point. So we'll call it boolean is even. And we'll start it as being equal to false. And then uh, what were our other ones? Is a perfect square? Okay, so... Um, we can just put a comma and say is ps equals false and again these are all going to be of type booleans uh, then what do we have is whole equals false and one more was uh, uh, squared is even so is s q u a even equals false. So what we can do now is you see how we have these sort of uh, things that are going on we have all this sort of stuff where we have done computations well when we select one of these things to happen assume that we want to uh, to set one of these flags as well so that way you know, say we got rid of this system.out.println all the way down. Let's just say I comment all these out. It's not going to be the most efficient example. I just wanted to introduce it before we got further. Um, so now I've commented everything out. So, okay. We're seeing if it's even, so we'll set is even equal to true. And you know, if uh, if it's false, we'll just keep it equal to false, which in this case we wouldn't have to do anything, but it's good to just, you know, specify anyways that it's false. So, okay, we'll say is ps equals true, and that's is perfect square, and is ps equals false. And so again, all we're going to do this whole way down is determine, you know, with our boolean flags, if these are uh, true or false. And then I'm going to show you uh, how we can use these. 
So, okay. Uh, then we'll say is whole equals true if it goes through the first one. And then is whole equals false. And lastly, I completely forgot how I spelled this one, so I'm just going to copy paste this twice. And so I copy pasted that twice, and I'm just going to change this first one over to true rather than false. And so at that point, we've made a whole bunch of Boolean flags that we're going to be using later on um, to declare, you know, sort of what we already said. And so then we can use these as actual uh, sort of customized um, if operators. So in this case, you know how it says we have is even equal to true if the number is even. So we can then simply say if is even and go from there. And that's completely valid. And if it evaluates to true, we're going to do whatever is in here. So we'll say system.out.println. And then we'll say the number is even. And again, you know, you can, you can fancy up your syntax if you want. Um, and then I'm just going to copy this over uh, a few times. And one more time. And so then it was... Uh, PS, so perfect square, and then a hole, and lastly is squared even. Okay, and so then all we'll do is say that the number is a perfect square, the number is whole, and the number squared is even. And again, you know, we, we did add in our, uh, our stuff after the other ones to make it nicer. I'm not going to do that right now, but you can if you'd like. I'm just showing you that we can use a system of flags as a, a custom sort of uh, conditional for our if and later our while statements, our, our cases, our switches, things like that. So. We'll just give this a quick run, and uh, last time we used 16, I believe. And so 16 is even, the number is a perfect square, because 4 multiplied by 4 is equaling it. It's a whole number, and the number squared is even, so 256 is also even. So, okay, that's what we've covered this time. Um, I don't want to introduce anything else to you guys. Um, we're going to be getting into some much heavier stuff in the next few lessons. So I think that stopping here would be a good idea. Um, with all that having been said, though, I have to assign you guys homework. So the homework that I'm going to require you guys to do is I want you guys to make a complex if statement that does something. Um, I can and will, I should admit. Uh, mention. Post the link to uh, the Java Math Library and you guys can kind of peruse through it. And the assignment I want you to do is I want you guys to go and solve a, a complex math problem. And I'll, I'll post a few with this video that I would recommend solving. Um, they're not going to be that hard, maybe, I don't know, 12th grade, uh, 11th grade type of math. So if that's too hard for anybody or if anybody needs special accommodations because they're, they just can't handle difficult math, believe me, I work as a tutor. I see it all the time. So if you need something easier, so I'm really just making sure you know the logic, let me know and we'll kind of work uh, through that. But for now, I just want you guys to look through the example problems I posted. Uh, they're going to be in an IDE1 link below. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know, and I will be more than happy to fill you in on uh, some of the minor details on how to go about solving these. All right, and I hope you guys have had a wonderful day. This is Damien for CPP for Beginners. Goodbye.